to know that uh, this regime, which came into power through the rigging of the elections, is now hell-bent in trying to send home the commissioners who stood firm on the uh, platform of the truth. And we have said that this is not going to be acceptable. The people of Kenya will not accept it because it is now known worldwide that these people lost elections badly and that they told these elections. But now we cannot accept that they will, on top of that they will add insult to injury by sending away these other commissioners and then imposing on Kenyans a user-friendly commission to them. This is not acceptable. And therefore we have said we are going to consult widely with the people of Kenya. We will begin in Nairobi on Wednesday. We will have a meeting with the people of Nairobi at Kamkunji grounds to ask them if they accept that these commissioners should go home. We will then do the same thing in Mombasa. We will do the same thing in Nakuru. We will do the same thing in Kisumu. do the same thing in Kakamega. Because an independent electoral commission is the referee, it cannot be appointed by a player. Basic price of basic uh, commodities like food uh, uh, is very high. Energy is also pretty high. Fuel is very, very high, the cost. So the people are suffering. And some of those palliative measures which have been introduced by the previous government, like Kazim Tani, which we had said was going to be continued, have all been, been stopped. There's also a disappointment about non-implementation uh, of promises which had been made during the campaign period. What is being seen here is promises on top of promises on top of promises, which is disappointing.